You got this, man. Good morning, everybody. This is the Stay at Home Dad episode. This is a collab we're doing with Whitaker Family Vlogs and The Bennett's Life. We're going to be kind of covering stay at home dad, non traditional father roles, secondary income, that kind of thing. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun, very interesting, and I would say probably not your typical sitcom father role type video. This is real life today, not even wearing a hat, going full bedhead. I'm going to show you what it's really like. On a typical day, while Sarah's getting ready, I get up, come out to the kitchen, make the breakfast for everybody, and get together all the things that she usually takes to work. I also feed the dogs. And then when Gabriel wakes up, I get him out of the crib and feed him. And I'm sorry, this video kind of started out like a, uh, this is what my day is like, my daily routine style video, and that's not what this is going to be. The purpose of this video is to share my experience. What led you to become a stay-at-home dad? How do people react when you tell them you're a stay-at-home dad? And hopefully, we can offer you some encouragement. So my stay-at-home dad experience has been positive. I will say that. But it has been a little complicated. I say complicated, but not because of this kid. I've had a job since I was 13 years old. Um, or some form of income since I was 13 years old and a regular job since high school. So the idea of not working regularly was kind of foreign to me and a little hard to get used to. In the early days of Gabriel's existence, I did try to work full time. I was working from home um, and I thought that I would give it a try. I actually Googled if it was possible <laughs> just to see if anybody had any tips or anything like that. and. Everything that I read said that it, was, that it was not possible. And I thought, the kid just sleeps in, in his little swing all day. You know, how hard can this be? Um, and it was an absolute nightmare. Like, it was the worst experience. Um, it, it cannot be done. If you're watching this video and you think it can be done, I'm telling you that it can't. Um, with a baby that age and a full-time job, it's... They, require, they both require too much, and I was just ripping myself apart trying to give 100% to both, and it can't be done. <laughs> when I quit my job, I had a hard time feeling like I was uh, pulling my weight in the house, even though I was doing a lot of the housework, caring for him, you know, keeping him alive, those kinds of things. And Sarah was very good at reassuring me that I was pulling my weight, but not bringing in a paycheck always just kind of weighed on me. It made me feel, it made me feel really guilty. So, <laughs> you got milk all over your chin. So I tried to think of him as a job, kind of reframing my thoughts. And that didn't work because on some level, most people tend to hate their jobs. <laughs> even on, even jobs they love, there are days that they hate them. And I didn't want to feel that way about him. So I had to stop that mindset. So I'm not real sure at what point I decided to just to just chill, to stop trying to think of it as a job, to try to relax and enjoy it, take it day by day. I really didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Still don't, if I'm being totally honest. Uh, you know, keep him alive. That seems to be the the important thing. I will say that um, he rolled off the couch once, <laughs> bumped his head. I was getting his bottle ready, and this was the very beginning of when he started to move, you know, and it used to be you could put him somewhere and he wouldn't go anywhere. <laughs> but I learned that day that those days were over because I put him in the corner of the couch and he leaned forward and then slid right off the edge. So it wasn't like he just fell, but he slid down and I heard thump, and then he started crying. 
And that was the first time I said, you ever have, I told Sarah, I said, you know that time when you realize the one, the first time you really mess up at a new job, you make a mistake, you know, and you, you feel like you're bad at your job. That day was, the day he rolled off the couch was that day for me. But he's all right. That doesn't mean we didn't call the doctor and get him checked out because we're overprotective first-time parents. I honestly thought being a stay-at-home parent would not be as exhausting as it is. I was very naive. But um, it, it actually... When, it, when, I, when we were starting out, when we were starting out, uh, people would say, how's it going? And it's like, you know, it's a whole lot less stressful, but it's way more exhausting. So it's a real job. I don't get paid. I get paid in love, but there's no money in it. So my personal experience being a stay-at-home dad, uh, it's been an overwhelming blessing. It was difficult at first to get used to and to kind of internally accept some of the the new things the role changes and stuff like that i guess the part about sarah being the you know breadwinner and all that that wasn't hard for me but um like stopping work that was hard for me and just giving myself all to him well, that part was easy <laughs> So I would say that my experience, my experience, although complicated at first, has been overwhelmingly positive. What do you think? Mm. <laughs> All right, Gabriel's down for his big nap of the day. That's the uh, that's usually the time that I get to do other things. Um, maybe that'd be some housework, lifting, or some of my some work for my part-time jobs that I do. So me becoming a stay-at-home dad uh, really isn't that exciting of a story. So even back when we were dating, before we even had kids or were married or anything like that, Sarah always said she never wanted to put our kids in daycare. She wanted to be able to raise them at home. Uh, that was just her preference. I didn't have a problem with putting kids in daycare uh, because the idea of me being a stay-at-home dad or her being a stay-at-home mom seemed kind of foreign at the time. We were both, you know, working on careers and that kind of stuff. So we just didn't really even think about it. Um, or I didn't even think about it. So we moved to Dallas for Sarah's career. She was already kind of the main breadwinner, or she was the main breadwinner. So this kind of took her out of the running for staying at home with the baby. So when she got pregnant, we already started talking about me staying at home with the baby. So with the cost of daycare, Sarah's desire for the kids to be raised at home, and she's the main breadwinner, and her career being here in Dallas, um, I'm already working at home, so it just made sense that I take on the role of stay-at-home dad. Jeez, I hate leg day. <laughs> Did you pull your socks off? You got a lot of energy. You ready to go for a walk? Gabriel is up from his nap. We're out for a quick walk. It's a little chilly outside, but I gotta get him out of the house every now and then or he and I both kind of go crazy. You know, 90s sitcoms tell us that dad goes to work, mom stays home, takes care of the kids, you know, gets them off to school and all that stuff. But, so you grow up thinking that's the way it's supposed to be. So honestly, the, mo the bulk of the people that I've come in contact with have been very supportive. Uh, you know, traditionally, like I said, the, the man goes to work, and this is 2018, <laughs> and I, I, don't think you can, I don't think that you can say anything is traditional anymore. I mean, I guess you can say it's traditional, but we're all about breaking those traditions these days. 
little nanook of the north here. Bundled up. Mommy would be proud. Daddy's did this. So I'd say really up until this point, I haven't met many other stay-at-home dads. I have uh, known a couple in my life, um, but only as acquaintances, never really actually gotten to know them. And uh, interestingly enough, it's through YouTube that I've met a couple others. I do get a variety of reactions though, you know, uh, after having done this for almost a year, <laughs> when you tell people, oh yeah, I'm a stay-at-home dad, you get, you get the, oh, well, good for you. Really? That's so interesting. Oh man, it must be nice not having to go to work every day. But honestly, they hadn't been too bad. Mostly, people are very respectful and um, generally pretty impressed. I feel like we're kind of at the dawn of the stay-at-home dad era. So, typically, when I tell people that I'm a stay-at-home dad, uh, I kind of get looked at almost like I'm a unicorn. It's like a, really? Okay, that's cool. You know, no one is outright disrespectful or anything like that, and usually uh, everybody's pretty cool about it. Did you freeze your little fingers off? No. Everybody. <laughs> So being a stay-at-home dad is definitely, uh, it takes an adjustment. It's not, I, for most people I guess, I, I mean I can really only speak from my own experience, but it's not what I expected. Um, but it has definitely been rewarding. Because there's nowhere I'd rather be right now. He's been working on this thing for a good 10 minutes. He's gonna get it eventually. And you may have to sacrifice to uh, to be a stay-at-home dad. I know we have had to sacrifice. Uh, we went from two incomes to one. Uh, I do my part with a few of little side jobs that I work on in the evenings and while he's napping and stuff like that. But you know, it's nothing like having two full-time incomes. So there are going to be sacrifices involved, but I guarantee you, that's totally worth it. That right there. <laughs> so it's important that I mention that none of this would be possible without Sarah. Um, sorry, he's too fast for me. <laughs> she, we're a team, you know, everything that we do, we do it together and she really helps. It's not just one sided thing. I don't do all the housework, uh, because she realizes how much, how exhausting it is taking care of him. So she'll work and then she comes home and then she plays with him while I can get other things done or. We play with him together, we work through books with him together and that kind of thing. Try to read to him or point to the pictures on the page anyway. And then she helps with the dishes, she helps with the cooking. I mean, it, she she really play, you know, pulls her weight. She, uh, you know, plays her part and she's an excellent partner. And I've always said that we're a good team. Now we just got a third member of the team. And I guess this will be the last thing that I really want to leave with, leave you with. Um, watching your son, daughter, sons and daughters, whatever the situation is, watching them grow up like this is better than the view from any corner office. Uh, I would never get the same kind of fulfillment at work that I get changing this kid's diapers.
<laughs> so again, this was a uh, collab that we did with Whitaker Family Vlogs and The Bennett's Life. So be sure to <laughs> check out their channels. I'm gonna put the link, link to the playlist and links to their channels in the descriptions. They're both excellent channels. Uh, great families um, at different points of parenting, you know, uh, aged kids and that kind of thing. So they're, they're a lot of fun to watch. Uh, I encourage you guys to check them out. So thanks again for watching this video. I hope you got something out of it. Uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. Leave us a comment. Let me know if you're a stay-at-home dad. If you're a stay-at-home dad and you would like to contribute to this playlist, that would be awesome. Uh, you can send me an email, make, mention something in the comments, reach out to me on Twitter, uh, any of that stuff. We'd love to have your video on the playlist and kind of get you in the stay-at-home dad network, get to know you a little bit more. So thanks again for watching. If you're uh, not already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.